Hey guys, it's Dr. Mike here. We're about to do another resume. In order to be efficient with the resumes, obviously my team has everything set up. We've just given him a local block. He's on his mattress. We filled the chamber with no air bubbles, so we have as good imaging as we can. So let's get started. His prostate should be a good one for this. It's less than 40 grams. And we're gonna see how we do here. So we're in the bladder here. This is Viru. Here's this. Here's a pretty open bladder already. This is gonna be a real quick one, I think. So one centimeter still. What I'm gonna do is I see it dropping down and I'm gonna come up here and do another stick. You know, normally I would ask him to open his legs a little bit up more, but because he's on the nitrous, it's a little bit harder to get him to cooperate. You see that? But he, he can still hear me. So we're good. He has a short prostate, but ten seconds left, my friend. Ten seconds left. And we are done. Very good. We'll put a catheter in now. We got our you know, we put all these guys on a little pro score, even for a week beforehand. And I see there's a significantly less amount of bleeding. I don't have an explanation for why, but we haven't in years now, we haven't had a problem with bleeding and with these procedures. Uh, at the same time, I'm then able to put less in the balloon because of it as well and only need 10 cc's in the balloon regardless of the size. We also, have been doing local blocks through the perineum versus transrectally, and we've had no infections. It's actually remarkable. All right, so we'll see how these guys do. He does. I'm sure he's going to do great. Okay. Thanks, guys.